Right, um, in the second video on the right hand slap rule, uh, we're going to see how to use a right hand slap rule on a charge or a wire moving in a magnetic field. Now just first let's look at these uh, two magnetic fields here. Um, now this cross notation represents a magnetic field that is going into the paper, or in this case the board, that is being drawn. So here that, that's uh, magnetic field lines going directly in. Um, we can think of it like a, an arrow, and this is looking from the back of an arrow when you're looking at the fletching of the arrow. Uh, obviously this one here, the magnetic field is going in a different direction, and this is magnetic field lines coming out of the board or out of the paper. Now the reason why they're just dots is we can think again looking at an arrow um, and what we're looking at is a sharp pointy end. So these are the notations to show magnetic field going uh, into the page and coming out of the page. Okay, so let's look first at this uh, charged particle here. So it could be a proton or it could be a, a bigger particle that has a positive charge on it. Now if we use the right hand slap rule, uh, we're using our thumb in this case to represent the direction of the positive charge. Okay, so the thumb is the direction of the positive charge. Our fingers still represent the direction of the magnetic field. Um, and our slap, the direction of our slap is going to uh, show us which way the force will operate on this charged particle. So um, line up our fingers, here we go, into the board. Um, line up my thumb this way, coming this way is the velocity. And the force is going to be slapped upwards. So it's a right hand slap rule if we use it on a positive particle. Okay, so let me just quickly just change this. What if this particle was not positive? What if it was negative? Okay, so we can actually work it out for a negative particle as well, but instead of using our right hand slap rule, we can use the left hand. So we can use the left hand for negative, and we do the same again. We put our fingers into the board, our thumb in the direction that it is moving, and we would have a force going downwards. That would be opposite to what we had for a positive one, which is what we would expect. If you want to work out the negative for this, you can use the right hand slap rule and give the opposite direction for the force, or you can use the left hand slap rule. Okay. Um, Next situation is, well, what if it's not just a charged particle? What if it's a whole wire and it is moving through a magnetic field? So in this case, we have a whole wire. It's uh, moving at velocity that way, and we can use the right-hand slap rule again. Thumb is going to show the direction that the wire is moving. Fingers, direction of the magnetic field. So in this case, um, magnetic field is coming out. Thumb is showing the direction. And my force, okay, that's around the wrong way here, force is going downwards. Now the interesting thing here is, well, what actually is being forced downwards? Uh, what is being forced downwards is actually positive charge. So in this wire, positive charge is being pushed downwards. If it's positive charge that is being pushed downwards, then the force direction shows the direction of the current that is in our wire. So let's go through that again. I've got my right hand slap rule, my fingers are coming out of the page, my thumb is the direction of the velocity, and positive charge is being forced down the wire. If positive charge goes down the wire, then current is travelling down the wire. One more thing, if the current is going down the wire, then positive charge is going to accumulate at this end, and that's going to be positive, and negative charge is going to be left at this end, and this is negative. So we actually, this wire is going to get a positive and negative charge on either end, and it's going to produce a voltage, or a potential difference. Okay, so let's just go over one more time, second time for using the right hand slap rule. Remember in this case, the, sum, the, sorry, the thumb is representing our velocity, the fingers are still representing our magnetic field lines, and our palm, the direction of our slap, is representing the force. If it is a wire, the direction of the force also is the direction of the current that is travelling in the wire. Okay, thank you for listening.